And you definitely need a pool to jump into. It is yeah. so hot. My car said 105 when I got in it yesterday. Oh my goodness. I know it's going to be a hot, hot week. And then we have a little more rain maybe around for the weekend. But our temperatures very August like as we start August on Thursday, finishing up just the last couple of days of July with a heat advisory in effect. And we had a lot of these earlier in the summer and then a big break where we didn't have that as much. The feels like temperature today, though, getting close to 110 already in spots. And our current air temperature is around 90, but a little hotter in some locations like Slidell 93, but feeling like that 105 and Kenner feeling like 103 right now. Our temperature again uh, around 90, but the heat index, you know, it's a hot summer day with a lot of humidity when it's about 13 to 15 degrees higher for the heat index compared to the air temperature. We have surface high pressure out here, so around this we may see a couple of small showers or storms this afternoon, but just not a really high chance for that. I have highs today close to 95 for a lot of spots. Slide is already at 93, so might tick up a bit higher than 95 by the end of this afternoon. Our temperatures nice and steamy all the way through the evening, and then our temperatures drop off into the 70s for tonight. Looking at our forecast through the next several hours, I think this model might have a little too much rain, but it has it right over New Orleans again by about three, just like we saw yesterday. Barely any rain out there, but what did form was right over parts of the metro area. So we are looking at that chance today, only about 20% or so. And then this takes us into this evening around 9 p.m. We'll be back into the 80s. Looking at all that rain we've gotten in July so far, we're about to finish up the month on Wednesday, but all the green days are days that we had at least some rain. A couple of notable days, the 22nd over three inches at the airport. And adding it all up, it's well over 10 inches that we've had over the past month of July. That's the eighth rainiest July on record. Average July at this point is about 6.3 inches, so we're almost double the rain that we would have on average at this point in the month. And how about the year so far? We're already at 52 inches. The average at this point is 38. We're running about 14 inches over a foot above normal. And keep in mind, we're at 52 inches for the year. A yearly total on average is 63 inches. Now, typically you can see in the middle of the summer, that is when we get some of our highest monthly rain totals. And we certainly have seen that so far in July. Will that continue into August? We will have to see. But at least the first couple of days of August, just hot and steamy, low rain chance. And then for this weekend, we have a pretty typical 30, 40% chance for a couple of showers and storms. This weekend, making your plans, it is going to be hot and muggy. Always is for White Linen Night on Julia Street. Very hot and steamy. Feels like 100 or so, but temperatures will be coming down. Still staying muggy, though, through the evening. Looking into the tropics, here is our same spot we've been talking about for many days. And I think we're going to keep talking about this because it does look like it'll eventually have a chance of developing somewhere roughly around the Bahamas. Now, something different has happened with the GFS model as of last night and today. The Euro still takes it off on this East Coast kind of path, Western Atlantic. The GFS has started lagging way behind with development and has it kind of skirting into the northern Gulf and maybe moving into Texas sometime a week and a half from now. So the GFS has been going back and forth. It had a European model like solution over the weekend. Then it had no development at all. Now it has this Gulf of Mexico kind of scenario into Texas. So it has been the less consistent for sure of the two big global models. But if this system does strengthen a little bit around the Bahamas, it might take this path and get steered off to the north around the high and attracted to this trough of low pressure. So this is what the European model has pretty consistently been saying for many days now. Look at the GFS though, it would wait until much later to have this thing develop somewhere maybe around the eastern Gulf or Florida. It takes it south of the Gulf Coast and into Texas because by that point it's waiting so long we will have a big high building in and that may keep it uh, far into the Gulf. We will see if that scenario even plays out. But again, the GFS has been the much less consistent of the two. So we'll continue to keep you updated. We have no tropical threats for our area for the next seven days or longer. And again, we'll see what happens with that system, especially by this weekend, if it does take that jog to the north, like the Euro has been saying. Seven day forecast shows that higher rain chance, just a few scattered storms by Sunday and Monday. Alexandra, thank you. The stars and stripes are shining bright at the Paris Olympics. We'll take a look at Team USA's success.